This is Satire Station, and I'm your host, Jay Charles. Have you ever wished that you could go to a KFC, have a bucket of greasy fried chicken, then go home, take a bath, and continue to smell like KFC? Your prayers just might be answered, because KFC Japan has made a fried chicken scented bath bomb, and only 100 lucky people who live in Japan will be able to win it in a giveaway running from November 1st to November 15th. The bath bomb is shaped like a drumstick, and is made with 11 secret herbs and spices, making you think after putting it in your bath, why did I do this? If you think this is the first time KFC has ventured into other scented items in the beauty section, unfortunately you would be wrong. In the past, KFC has created a fried chicken scented candle to spice up your lonely nights. They've created SPF 30 fried chicken scented sunscreen, and my personal favorite, the Finger Looking Good Edible Nail Polish by KFC. Did you know that it comes in two flavors? Original and hot and spicy, because none wasn't enough. Speaking of risky decisions, a man in Swaziland rescued a trapped wildebeest. After freeing the creature, to his surprise, the wildebeest charged at him. Who would have thought that a trapped wildebeest would feel threatened by a human coming up to it? I'm sure some people might even think it's a wild animal. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of this last story. A 30-year-old woman in Grimsby, England, had to deal with a claw pinky toe her whole life. Recently, she got married, but before she did, she had a dilemma. Because of her claw toe, she couldn't fit into the perfect wedding shoes she wanted so badly. So what did she do? Did she consider wearing different shoes because no one would really pay that much attention to them because they would be covered by her dress? Did she realize it might not be the end of the world if she couldn't fit in the shoes she wanted? No. She did the responsible thing. She did the cheapest, most reasonable thing you could possibly do in this situation to prepare for the big day. She got her foot in the door. And by getting her foot in the door, I mean she surgically had her pinky toe broken and tendon snapped so the shoe would fit in. She was even willing to foot the bill, if need be. Her feet were very unique, but you couldn't say they were cold. On a footnote, this is our first video here at Satire Station. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. We hope to see you again very soon.